In question number 18, this series has been given and the sum of this series is given as 16 upon 5 times m and we have to calculate the value of m. So, if we uh, look upon this series and simplify this, we will get this as first term as 8 square upon 5 square. The second is going to be this is 12 square upon 5 square. Then is going to be 16 square upon 5 square and this can be also written as 20 square upon 5 square and so on till 10 terms. Now, we can easily see 4 square upon 5 square is common from this series and rest of the series can be written as 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square and we can see the 10th term is going to be 11 square. So, this is a well known series we can add 1 square and subtract 1 square. So, this can be written as this entire sum, this is 16 upon 25, this is the total number of terms is 11, so this is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1, that is going to be 23 upon 6 minus 1. So, this is going to be 2 times and this is 16 upon 5m equals 16 upon 25 into 505. So, we can see the 16 will cancel out, this 5 will cancel out and this is cancel 101. So, m is going to be 101 and hence the answer for this question is 3. In question number 19, this is a straight line in a 3D space and this is a equation of plane. It is given in this question that this line lies on this plane. So, what we can see is if there is some plane and the line is lying along this. So, it is definitely true the direction ratio of this line and the direction ratio of the normal to this plane are going to be perpendicular hence their dot product is going to be 0. So, we can see the direction ratio of this line is 2 minus 1 and 3 and the direction ratio of the normal to this plane is L, M and minus 1. So, their dot product is 0 will give us 2 L minus M minus 3 equal to 0. So, this will be equation number 1. Second point we can notice that this point that is 3 comma minus 2 comma minus 4 lies on this plane. Hence, this is going to be satisfying this equation. So, this is 3L minus 2M. This is plus 4 and that is going to be 5. And this is equation 2. By solving this, we can see this is going to be L equal to 1 and M equal to minus 1. And hence, L square plus M square equals 2 which suggests the answer for this question will be 1. In question number 20, this is the Boolean expression given and we have to identify among the options which is equivalent to this. So, what we can do is we can first apply this distributive law in this part and this will give us P or Q and negation of Q or Q and then or negation of p and q. So, first part is p or q and this can be identified as tautology. So, if we are saying there is some statement s and tautology, so this is going to be s itself. So, this is going to be p or q or negation of p and q. So, if we want to see this through Venn diagram, suppose there are two set p and q. And if we are talking about P or Q, this is going to be this entire set, set. Now, if we are talking about this negation of P and Q, so negation of P is going to be outside this region P and Q. So, Q is going to be this. So, that is going to be intersection space and that is going to be this much only. And if we are finally taking the union of this two, this is going to be nothing but P or Q. And hence, we can identify the correct statement.